in the last video what have we learned we have learned now the letters which were the three letters which we learned capital a small a capital b small b capital c and small c do you remember we have learned with the help of pictures with the help of pictures which are those pictures look here children and repeat after me a for apple a for ant a for axe a for aeroplane a for apricot a for almonds and a for the air balloon so now shall we start with the letter b yes b for ball b for butterfly b for banana b for b b for bed b for bag and b for book now we have finished with the letter b now we'll start with the letter c c for cat c for k c for car c for camel c for cow c for cabbage and c for clock now we have finished the revision of the three letters a b and c now today we will study three more alphabets which are they the capital letter d and the small letter t the capital letter e and the small letter e the capital letter f and the small letter f now we will revise these letters again with the help of pictures so it is easy for you to recognize the letters and identify the pictures now d for duck d for drum d for doll and d for doll now again the letter d for duck d for drum d for doll and d for dog we have finished with the letter d now we we'll move towards the letter e this is capital e small e e for ear e for eyes e for egg and e for engine shall we repeat again e for ear e for eyes e for egg and e for engine now we have finished with the letter e shall we move towards the letter f now look at this f f for flag f for fan f for fruits and f for fish yes f for flag f for fan f for fruits and f for fish now children what i have told you i will show you the letter d how to write it so first here it is the letter d capital letter d standing line and a half curve form the letter d what do they form the letter d now a standing line and a curve form a small letter d form a small letter d now look at this this is standing line and three sleeping lines form a capital letter e what do they form a capital letter e standing line and two sleeping lines form a letter f capital letter f now see your children a curve form a letter e small e 
standing line, a curved half, and a sleeping line form a small letter F. So students, what did we study today? We studied the capital letter D, small letter D, capital letter E, small letter E, capital letter F and the small letter F. In our next video, we will complete with the remaining three alphabets. But what have you to do? You have to repeat after me what I am saying. Till then children, thank you.